Research indicates that one out of every seven children in the Virginia's kindergartens lack basic reading skills. So how do we ensure that all kids have a good start? A new early childhood facility is under construction in Norfolk's Park Place neighborhood, but the center's purpose and its curriculum are already in motion. Please welcome Lisa Howard. She's president and CEO of E3 Elevate Early Learning, and Anthony Walters is executive director of the Y on Granby. And why the Y? It's because he, that is adjacent to the new center, which is, as I said, under construction. Welcome both of you Thank to you the show. Friends. Thank you. Well, this is an Exciting time. I know there was a lot of press early on when this was first launched and construction was not even underway yet, but now we're moving into the fall of 2014 with, um, with a goal of 2015 for the opening of a school. Lisa, Elevate Early Education E3 is a new concept in um, the way we look at um, teaching our children at an early age. Mm -hmm. E3, Elevate Early Education, is a statewide advocacy group that was created in 2012 with the um, idea that we really had to change the way our state is thinking and prioritizing early education. And so part of our long-term strategy is the implementation of this demonstration model um, in the new E3 school in the Park Place neighborhood. Okay, and uh, being in Park Place and next to the, the Y on Granby, which is in itself is a relatively new facility, is. Um, is really a, a great location strategically because the population that you are talking about serving isn't a particular income group, is that correct? That's right, it's an all children model, mm -hmm. mixed income model, a third from lower, a third from middle, and a third from upper income families. Okay. The Y membership, um, I know the location being where it is, it's a, it's a very busy thoroughfare, Granby Street, um, and uh, then you have the Park Place neighborhood, you have people coming from downtown going home um, and going from wherever and moving downtown and they're all running by the Y. Sure. So does your membership at this point reflect some of that, diverse, that diversity? No, great question. I, you know, our center uh, is uniquely positioned in, in central Norfolk is what I call it, um, where the entire city can come together yeah. um, and sort of be in this uh, beautiful mosaic of a, of a community. And we're experiencing um, that diversity. So we've got you know, every race, color, and creed, um, all ages. And, and more importantly, when you drive by it, if you drive by it today and you're, you look, look at our uh, outdoor aquatic center, yes. you'll actually see it. You know, you'll visually and physically see the, the diversity um, that exists at our center, which I think makes it a perfect fit for what Lisa and the organization is trying to get accomplished. Mm -hmm. So it, it works well. It's our experience in diversity, and um, obviously Lisa and, and, and her mission, mm -hmm. they'll experience the same thing. Right. Well, you're right. Central Norfolk's probably a good description of where it's located because it, it is very centralized. Yeah, and you know, I always say this to Anthony, but you know, I think back to when I was a mother with young children, my kids are now a little bit older, but you know, I would have just loved to have the high quality early education right next door yeah. to the Y where yeah. I could go work out, do my thing, have some family activities, you know, to have that connection. And then of course, if there'd be a coffee shop right, right down the street, oh, that'd be even right, better, right? right. Um, so we're really excited about the synergy, I think, between what the school is trying to bring um, to the equation and what the Y already sure. offers mm -hmm. in the community. What does the Y offer? And the Y on Granby being its location, that's why it has its name, but are there some particular amenities you'd like to point out? Yeah, sure. And I, and I just mentioned one of them, which is an outdoor pool. Um, I see it every day. It, it, is, it has become the <laughs> rave of the community. Um, everyone's taking advantage. For those inside that neighborhood in Park Place, it becomes a destination. Um, for those who are in the surrounding neighborhoods, it is you know, also that. So um, our Blocker YMCA has an indoor pool. We have the outdoor pool, very accommodating there in terms of uh, collaborative experience. But um, to what Lisa is, is going to open with the E3, um, we have some also collaborative spaces, Arts and Humanities Wing that has a music studio, an art studio, and a computer lab uh, there. Uh, gymatorium, and we, we, we play with that word a little bit. It's a gymnasium, but it's also one that can double as an auditorium as right. well. It has a sound and lighting booth, um, very equipped for things that may occur cognitively uh, with, with the, those students there. So um, those amenities we think are great. It's, it's obviously, it obviously exists with our core business items. So um, health and wellness is, is a focus for us. So great fitness center uh, on the second floor there, uh, just to name a few things. So it's, it's, um, very equipped to serve 
people in all age groups. Okay, and, and equipped to serve the parents of the children who may be attending there. What about the curriculum? for E3. This is, um, you mentioned it is different, it's a different approach, so how, how does it differ? You know, the real distinction with what we're trying to do in the new E3 school is, is, you just said it, it's the key ingredients that we know go into high quality. So often we hear, you know, from the president on down tout high quality, but nobody has really yet defined what those ingredients are. And so that's what we're trying to accomplish in this demonstration model and what those program elements really are and how they could be replicated and scalable um, in a cost sustainable way. And so that is really what we're trying to accomplish in the school. And then of course, have impactful learning for kids. So everything that we're doing inside the school is really geared towards kindergarten readiness outcomes for children. And so some of those key program elements are the cutting edge curriculum and then training the teachers on implementing that curriculum oh, and yeah. then hiring the staff and really training them and specializing them in child development and early education. So they don't necessarily have to have a master's degree or a bachelor's degree, but they have to be trained and specialized in the field of early education and working with young children. And then of course, one of the most important key ingredients in ensuring that children enter kindergarten ready is the strong teacher-child interactions. And so that's gonna be a really key component to what you see happening in the classroom every day. But the, the curriculum will focus on STEAM. And so that's science, technology, engineering, arts, and then math. And of course, we hear a lot about STEM, but we've added the arts in there <laughs> because we really believe that the arts are just a critical component for, for young children. And the, the sooner we can expose them to the arts, the better off they will be. And so to Anthony's point, I think that's another exciting partnership opportunity for what we have you know, with the Y in terms of offering and taking advantage of some of the space and offering some enrichment activities for families and young children. Well, it's gonna be a bevy of activity then when everything gets underway. How many children do you think you'll be accommodating and, and, and staff? 104 children, mm. ages one to five, and it is an all-day, um, all-year model. Oh, okay. uh, because that's another one of what the research tells us. That's another important component to really ensuring that children um, are entering kindergarten ready to succeed. Okay, consistency and routine and exactly. all those things yeah. are very important. And lots of fun. Oh, good. <laughs> the I'm learning go. <laughs> has to be fun and meaningful. Um, and so our our um, teachers and staff will, um, you know, really be top notch, and they will, you know, come to that school every day with a passion for young children and what they do. Okay. So we'll have about 26 um, teachers. All right, great. And is the is there registration going on right now, or is this already complete? It is. Okay. Um, yes, we've ongoing. actually been, you know, as, as Anthony was talking about. We have been amazed. Um, we haven't really officially launched the school yet. Um, we've done a soft launch and we've just been amazed at the um, interest Great. that we've had among families. And it really is reflective of that all children model that we talked about. Great. So we're seeing all families and all children, you know, really take an interest in being part of the school. Great. So it's and, very exciting. And when is it uh, slated to actually, the facility itself to be completed and open? And the construction will be complete by December um, 1 okay. of 2014 and then open January 2015. Wow, so it isn't yeah. far at all. No, it isn't, right around the corner. But it's come a long way. It has. Yeah, and yeah. it sounds like and it's we're gonna, very excited about yeah, it. Yeah, go a long yeah. way. And for you, of course, you probably see it every day, you know, the work being done, but you, there's still so much more to come. It, it is. I mean, the two most frequent questions we get uh, via phone call is what time does a pool close? <laughs> and how can I enroll in E3? In Wonderful. E3? And it's, 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 it's very frequent. So um, we feel very proud to be a supportive element to what the new E3 school is gonna do. And um, we do believe in that wraparound service. So that STEAM approach fits perfectly with how we're constructed, uh, the amenities we have. And uh, the sooner we can get that open, the sooner uh, we can eliminate the second question of the two. Um, <laughs> That's right. Because uh, they, they're, they're really excited about it. We're excited that they're excited about it. So well, it sounds like a winning it. combination, and um, I yeah. wish both of you uh, the best of luck um, and with the launch um, in January, too. So we hope to be hearing a lot more. Remember, you can, um, you can still look into this. We've put up uh, website information. Um, on the screen and uh, check into uh, what STEAM is all about and of course the new E3 school um, that is opening up uh, right in the Park Place neighborhood next to the Y on Granby. Thank you Lisa. Yes. Thank you Anthony. Thank, Thank you. you.
While parents play a huge role in shaping their children's early years, it doesn't stop there. After the break, free help for parents of toddlers, youth, and teens who want to be the best that they can be.